Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If we haven't met yet, my name is Ellie and I'm trying to inspire you to make your own home-cooked meals and save money at the same time. For this week's meals, I'm gonna clean out my pantry, fridge, freezer and see what I have in there. I don't have much. So I want to show you an example of like when sometimes you look at your fridge and you think like, oh, I don't have anything to eat, but maybe you do. I could probably eat for about a month from this, but let's start slowly and make two lunches and two dinners. For lunch, I pulled out some carrots, I have one zucchini, and here I have some leftover uh, mixture of seasoning, cheese, and breadcrumbs that I made potato wedges with a couple of days ago. Um, onion, ginger, garlic, some rice, and a cilantro. This is actually a very good way to store your fresh herbs if you don't want them to get bad within a couple of days. So I just um, put them in a little bit of water like this and cover them with a bag and put them in the fridge and it will last you like a couple of weeks. And I will just roughly cut our vegetables. The oil is heating up in the pan and we can just throw our cut vegetables in the oil. We don't need to worry about cutting them too thinly because we will blend this in order to make the base for our curry. And while our vegetables are cooking, we can wash and start cooking our rice. Season the vegetables with a little bit of salt, cover them with a lid and just let them get soft for around 15 to 20 minutes. And in the meantime, we can start prepping our zucchini or courgette for my UK friends. I will cut it in semi-thin slices, put on it a little bit of salt. You don't want to over salt it because if we're going to drain all the moisture out, they're going to become kind of soggy. So we still want some texture to it. When the vegetables get nice and brown, you can scoop them out. I will also add a little bit of water here just to help it mix it and blend it until completely smooth. After around 10 minutes, your zucchini should have started to release some water so you can tap the water off from it with a paper towel. I realized that I'll probably won't have enough parmesan and uh, breadcrumbs mixture to coat all of my zucchini pieces. So I'm adding a little bit more breadcrumbs that I found in my cupboard here. And for the wet batter, I'm gonna make a mixture from two tablespoons of flour, one teaspoon of cornstarch, and I will combine this with a little bit of water. You want to mix this until you have no lumps left in your batter. You want to start the process by dipping the zucchini first in the wet batter so our dry batter will stick on it much better. And just repeat this process for every piece until you have all of them coated. If you don't have oil spray like I don't right now, you can just use normal oil and brush it on it instead. I will bake them in the air fryer on 390 degrees for 8 minutes, flipping them halfway through and coating with oil the other side as well. While we are waiting for the zucchini to bake, we can prep our curry sauce now. I will mix the coconut powder with a little bit of water and in the same oil from before, I will fry our blend from onions, carrots and garlic. For seasoning, I'm using one large tablespoon of curry powder, a little bit of salt, and I also have some hot curry paste. This is totally optional. You can completely leave this out, but I will add it for a little bit of spiciness. Fry it all together for about a minute just to release some more flavor from our seasoning and add in the coconut milk. I'm using coconut cream powder, but you can use just a regular can of coconut milk. Combine it all well together, Try it for seasoning in case it needs more salt or you want more curry powder and just let it cook for five to seven minutes and our sauce is ready. And that is it guys. I'm gonna put some cilantro or coriander on top for some extra flavor and color. And we made curry. I absolutely love India, been there many times and Indian food. But I can confidently say that this is no authentic Indian recipe, but it's still delicious. And it's dinner time, so let's make some wraps. I found a whole pack of rice paper in the back of my pantry. So I'm gonna use these to make dinner tonight and fill them in with some shrimp. These are still frozen, but I will just put them in uh, cold water 
rinse them a couple of times and they're gonna be defrosted in like five minutes. In the meantime, I will prep some vermicelli noodles, just put them in hot water, let them sit there for like two minutes and they'll be done. And for some greenery inside, I'm gonna use some kale and back out with our um, cilantro slash coriander. And I also have one carrot, uh, the garlic I'm gonna use to prep the shrimp. And I also found some dried black mushrooms that I will soak in water. Uh, so they get nice and soft so we can chop them i will start by adding one tablespoon of oil and one tablespoon of butter in my pan i also chopped three cloves of garlic that i will add into the butter this will need only about 30 seconds the garlic burns very fast so as soon as you can start feeling that it's getting brown add in your shrimp for seasoning i'm using onion powder black pepper smoked paprika and red pepper flakes, which are totally optional if you don't want anything spicy. A little bit of salt, of course, and for some tanginess, I'm using a little bit of lemon juice. Stir it all well together and fry the shrimp for a few minutes or until they get nice and pink. I've washed the kale that I will now clean and chop in small pieces, and because nobody likes hard kale, I will season it with a little bit of oil and massage it for a couple of minutes just to soften it up. While the kale is resting, I will grate one larger carrot. And we have all our ingredients ready now, we are just missing the dipping sauce. I'm gonna make a peanut butter dipping sauce, and for that I'm gonna use two tablespoons of peanut butter, a little bit of honey, juice of a half lemon, one tablespoon of hoisin sauce and a little bit of water just so we can combine it all well together and get the consistency of a dipping sauce. So now we're ready to start rolling. We're gonna dip the rice paper in water first for around 20 seconds or until they get completely soft. Take it out and place another sheet in the water so it will get soft while we are rolling the first one. I'm starting with the kale at the bottom but you can start with the shrimp. Adding the mushrooms, the vermicelli noodles, carrots, some cilantro, and the shrimp on top. Fold it from the sides and roll it in a roll. I am no expert here, so don't worry if you're not either. It will still be a very delicious and healthy dinner. And we are here on day two, guys. I still have some of that rice that we made curry with yesterday. So I took some chicken breast out of the freezer and I also still have quite a few of those coconut cream powder. So we're just gonna keep continue using those and make some type of a creamy chicken sauce together with the mushrooms that I have left from dinner last night and also a little bit of onion and garlic. I have here half an onion, three garlic cloves, and I washed the chicken in water, salt, and a little bit of vinegar. I will chop my onions and garlic now, and the onions go into a hot oiled pan. Season it with a little bit of salt, and just let it simmer on medium heat for about five minutes, and in the meantime, we will prep and cut our chicken. I also found one tiny potato just rolling in the back of my fridge and I will grate it and use its starchiness to thicken up our sauce. The onions have started to brown nicely as well, so I will put in our grated potatoes and roast them for around a minute. Fry the chicken breast for 5-10 to 10 minutes or just until it changes color. You don't want to overdo it because chicken breasts do tend to get dry if overcooked. We're gonna take a shortcut with this one and for seasoning just use some chicken seasoning, pepper, parsley flakes, and half a stock cube. Roast the chicken well together with the seasoning and after around a minute, add in the mixture from coconut powder or just use coconut milk. If you don't have coconut milk, cream would work really well in this recipe. Let it simmer for around 10 minutes and towards the end, I will add in the mushrooms. I'm using them just because I have leftovers, but you can completely omit this and leave them out of the recipe in case you don't have them or you don't like them. And we still have half of our package of chicken breast left and since that was from the freezer, it would be really good if we cooked it the same day and then you can let it sit in the fridge for three to four days cooked. But today I will clean the chicken, cut it in smaller pieces and season it with some ground paprika, garlic powder, coriander, black pepper, onion powder, and I will not use salt, but I will use some chicken seasoning here. 
To be able to coat the pieces easily, I will add a little bit of oil and just massage the seasoning well in the chicken. I'm heating up one tablespoon of oil in the pan and I'm adding the chicken pieces in. You will fry them for around 10 minutes. Again, you don't want to dry them out. But you don't also want to eat raw chicken, so you can try that by cutting some of the larger pieces in half and see if they are no longer pink on the inside. I will just turn it off now and let it cool so we can have it later for dinner. And our sauce has now nicely thickened up and it's all ready to serve. And we've made one and a half meals in like 25 minutes. Isn't that great? To go with our chicken salad, I will roast some Brussels sprouts. I've washed them and cut them in half. I will put on some oil and season them with salt, onion powder, garlic powder and paprika. Coat them well with the seasoning and put them in a preheated oven on 400 degrees Fahrenheit or 200 degrees Celsius for 20 minutes. And while our Brussels sprouts are in the oven, let's prep the remaining ingredients for our salad. I'm gonna start with the salad dressing and directly in my bowl, I will put a little bit of Dijon mustard, a little bit of honey, oil, some lime juice, salt, pepper, and Italian seasoning. Just stir this very well. I washed and chopped the kale, so I will put it straight into the seasoning and mix it very well, coat it with all the seasoning and massage it for a couple of minutes so it will get all nice and soft. I will also grate one carrot. I have half a tablespoon of butter here that I will microwave for 10 seconds. Add about one to two tablespoons of buffalo sauce, depending how hot you want them, and a little bit of honey. Combine it well together and coat with it your Brussels sprouts. Sprinkle some grated Parmesan cheese on top. You can wait for them to cool down. I don't mind hot stuff for my salad. My husband thinks I'm crazy, but I will just go ahead and assemble my salad. I will mix in the grated carrot. I also chopped some olives. You can add artichokes or anything else that you have at hand. Mix it one more time now to coat the dressing with our other ingredients and top it up with your Brussels sprouts and the chicken that we made earlier today. And that is it. We are ready to eat. Thank you for watching. Next week, I'm gonna continue using everything that I have in the house, so don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you'll get notified when the next video comes out. See you then.